Hi there, welcome to this data engineering video on Microsoft Azure and Microsoft Fabric. Tonight, I'm going to talk about recursive traversal in Azure Synapse Analytics. So I want to say what is recursive traversal. It is basically a process that involves provisioning data from a hierarchical directory structure such as nested folders that contain multiple files such as comma, separated values, packet, text files, and ensuring all relevant files are included in data processing operations. The technique is useful when dealing with complex data lakes or file system where data are organized in nested sub-directories. So I want to go to the demonstration part, how we can recursively traverse ADLS Gen 2 using the Azure Synapse and write the data into Microsoft Fabric Lake House. Let's go to the demonstration. I am currently in the app.powerbi.com and of course I've got this recursive traversal lake house workspace created. I'm going to click on the plus and I want to create a lake house. I'm going to call this one sales underscore recursive and then go ahead and click on create. So the sales underscore recursive one lake house is now created. Of course we don't have any tables and of course no files. I'm going to come to the portal.azure.com and of course I've got this ADLS Gen 2 storage account. Now in the storage account, I've got all of these files in this recursive container. When I click on this, I'm going to see, or just come back here, I'm going to see the recursive sales container, double click, and I'm going to see the all sales data directory. We're going to have the sales 2016 and 2015 and of course, within this all sales data directory, I've got this folder, this sales 2017 to 2018. When I click on that, I'm going to see we have the 2017 to 2018. I'm going to come back and then I'll click on this and then we have the 2019 and 2020. And then we have the 2021 to 2023. Let's just see the content of the sales 2023.csv. Click on that. And I'm going to come to the edits and of course I'm going to click on the preview and then we have the seven columns, the year, region, subcategory, product, price, quantity, and the sales. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now, I'm going to come back here. So basically, the ADLS Gen 2 storage account is linked to my Azure Synapse workspace. So I'm going to click on this Abiola Synapse, which is the Synapse workspace. Click on that. And then I can launch the Synapse workspace by clicking on the tab and a new tab is open for me. Okay, so this is the Synapse Analytics workspace homepage. I'm going to see the name Abiola David Synapse. And I'm going to expand this. We're going to have the home tab data and so on and so forth. I want to come to the data. Under the data, we're going to have the workspace and the linked service. When I click on this, I'm going to see the Azure Data Lake Storage Tool. When I click on that, I'm going to see the Abiola Synapse Primary Workspace. Click on that. And I'm going to see all my containers in the ADLS Chain Tool. I've got the sales container, the fabric container, recursive. I'm going to double click on the recursive sales. And I'm going to see the all sales data directory. I'm going to double click. I'm going to see the sales 2015 and 2016, and then the three folders, the innermost folder. So I'm going to see the 2017, 2018. I can see, check it out. We have the data. I'm going to come back here and go to the 2019 to 2020. I can see the files, sales files, and then I can check the 2021 to 2023. Beautiful. That's fine. So the next thing I want to do is to go ahead and create in the develop tab the notebook. I'm going to come here. When I come down, I'm going to click on the plus sign and create a notebook. So as soon as we have that, we're going to see the notebook created. Let's just call this one notebook uh, for recursive and then press enter. That has been renamed. We can close these properties for now and then we can see that it's been renamed. I'm going to close this. Okay. Now I'm going to actually have this integration, which is you know attached, which is my Apache Spark pool. When I click on that, I'm going to see we have the medium three to thirty-one nodes. I can click on this manage post. When I click on the manage, it's going to take me to the manage tab, and I can see under the analytics port, I've got this Apache Spark post, which is actually named as integration, and then we have the node size family memory optimized and we have the size okay this is fine. i'm going to come back to the dev develop and then i can come here and write my code of course this should be ready you know to go the current session so i'm going to create a variable called df 
equals spa dot read dot option and then in the option i'm going to provide the key value so inside double quote i'm going to provide error because my data do contain errors and then comma and then for the value it's going to be true and then comma dot comma separated value because our data are stored in the csv file open and close the brackets and inside single quote i'm going to go ahead and control v what i copied and of course we're going to have this abfss path and now i'm going to actually delete this part because we are only not reading only 2015 we want to read all the files using the recursive traversal so i'm going to delete that now i'm going to have this four slash because i want to point to the folder so i'm going to type in star star now the star star is going to give us the recursion it's going to actually loop through all the sales files in the all sales data directory of the recursive sales container of my ADLS Gen 2. So this is what I'm going to give, what's going to give us what we're looking for. And then I'm going to press enter and use the display method to display the data frame and control enter to run the code. And there we go. So we have the result, which is super cool. Now I'm going to close this for now and I'm going to scroll down. Okay, so our goal is to write this data into the Microsoft Fabric Lake House. So I'm going to come back to the Lake House and I'm going to say the successfully created the SQL analytic endpoint. Now, because we're going to actually learn the data as a delta table, not as a file. I'm going to click on the ellipses here and then go to the properties and then I want to copy the absolute file system path for my Lake House. Go ahead and copy this into the clipboard and then come back to my synapse notebook click on the new cell and i'm just going to give this one a video i'm going to call this one one lake data path you can use anything like equals inside the single code control v to paste the abfs so go ahead and control enter to run it's going to run in just one four seven milliseconds okay that's fine i want to create a new cell so having specified this path we can go on and write the data into our link so i'm going to do df dot uh, write function dot format and the format is going to be inside single quote as a delta table dot and i'm going to use the mode and i want to actually use inside double quote or single quote overwrite if the data exists in the destination so if it doesn't exist it's not going to do anything anyway so dot and then i can use the save method and then for the same method i'm going to provide the path which is the one lake data path that we define it control c i'm going to come here control v and then put in the space a little bit plus and inside single code i'm going to use two four slash and then inside the fourth i'm going to provide the name of the delta table let's call this one combined sales data from azure data lake Okay, that's fine. So I can go on and press Control Enter to run the code. And let's see, a few, just two seconds, seven, seven, nine milliseconds, we are able to successfully run the code. I'm going to come back to the sales, close this tab for now, sales recursive one, and I can Control R to refresh. Now, this is the moment of truth. We're going to see the combined sales data from the data lake in the lake house. There we go combine sales data from Azure Data Lake, which is super cool as a Delta table. Now, I'm going to quickly switch to the SQL analytic endpoints, and then we're going to see all the columns deployed absolutely far. Let's go ahead and query this data by clicking on this new SQL query. I'm going to perform a simple um, select, and I want to actually call the year column or select, press enter, year column, comma, enter. I'm going to use the sum, and for the sum aggregate, I'm going to use the cast, and I'm going to show you that I'm using cast um, function. So cast, I'm going to call the sales column, okay? And then I'm going to actually cast this as integer because it's actually considered as a string from the destination even here. So we're going to actually call this as integer, okay? And then close the bracket twice, and I'm going to alias this as uh, total sales. So um, total sales all right press enter and then we're going to specify the from the combined sales data from azure data lake and of course we're going to use the group by clause so we want to go by the year column we specified in the select statement and then let's run the code okay beautiful we have the data for the 2015 to the 2023 
this is absolutely cool when i come back here i'm going to come back to the recursive sales against we have all data from, from 2015 to 2023 so we are able to successfully read the data into the microsoft fabric big house using the azure synapse analytics workspace which is super cool now before i finish this video let me just scroll a little bit now without using the cast let's see what's going to give us i'm going to do this part okay delete and then i'm going to delete this path okay delete, delete and then press enter or just go ahead and run the code now i'm going to have an error okay this is going to show us the operand data type vocal is invalid for the sum operator now this simply means let me just put that a little bit so this sales column is actually considered as a vocal as a string okay so it's not going to actually work except we actually apply the cast so i'm going to apply the cast again so um, the cast and then open the bracket and then i'm going to provide this as integer okay and i can go on and close the bracket one more time for the sales and then run the code and it's going to work pretty fine okay there we go so this is how we can use the azure synapse analytics to perform a recursive traversal on top of data stored in the adls gen 2 and then we're able to successfully read the data into the microsoft fabric lake house i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like share with your friends comment and follow me for more videos thank you for watching bye for now